Hey, water sign. <laughs> Just fixing my hair. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Uh, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for you, uh, February 7th. Thank you, Lisa, for sending me this awesome deck from New Orleans. Uh, the Tarot Illuminati. I'm very excited to use this today for your reading. Uh, when a deck is gifted, it has, it is said to have a lot more power. Gifted or stolen. A lot of people steal decks because that is the lore. Um, but a deck from New Orleans, I feel is pretty powerful anyway. Um, also, I have a, I have a lovely deck from Gabby from Paris. So, boy, really spiritual places, lovely places. Whenever I go to a spiritual place, I look for a cool deck. So anyway, I have a huge collection, as you might well imagine. So water sign, let's see what's going on for you here. Water sign. Water sign. Knight of Wands. Ooh, ah, younger fire sign. Ace of Wands. Wheel, Page of Swords, Ah, King of Pentacles, huh, that's interesting, Water Sign, Star, Hermit, Six of Swords. So you could be, you, uh, you're married to a Earth Sign, you could be married to an Earth Sign, hold on, let me get this. Page of Wands. Two of Cups. Boy, I believe I did a reading earlier this week. It's all, or maybe last week. It's all about, uh, now it's about love, not about money. Here it is again. Two of Cups. Passion. Passion and love. On your doorstep here. Passion and love. And it is about what are you manifesting here. So I feel like this person you're with could be an earth sign. This feels like you here. Or I'm sorry, this is the new person. This is a new person. Ace of Wands, Wheel, Page of Swords. This is that younger fire sign. Could be watching you. Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands, uh, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords. So somebody is watching... Somebody's watching you. They're making an offer of something new to you. The wheel is moving in their favor. There really, there is a lot of passion and love here. This is your situation. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So there might be a child you're married with, with children or something like that. It feels a lot about money to me because this is all earth stuff and your water. And I feel like um, the... Uh, too much, you know, there's not enough, there's not water here. There's not enough water here in this relationship for you. It's much more pentacly. Okay. So star really, you know, you're can be married to a Virgo. Can be married to a Virgo. Okay. They could have something new and they're moving toward a fire sign. I feel like I keep getting the same storyline here because why do I keep getting storylines? It's good. It's a good question. I feel like I keep getting good storylines when they're stuck. There's stuckness. Star, hermit, Aquarian energy, Virgo energy, and moving, moving forward. There's movement here. I feel like this other person is going to make movement. So this person could be connected to you. This person could be the one you're married to, the King of Pentacles here or Queen of Pentacles, the one you're married to, they have new passion. They're watching you. You're watching them. They have Wheel of Fortune here moving forward. I feel like you both might have a fire sign here, and you both are trying to decide. The star is like manifesting. It's healing. The hermit is like deep knowing, and then we can move on. We can move on here, water sign. So let's see about this wheel, ace of wands person. Let me just get one about that. Ace of cups. Oh my God. 
This is new love for you, new passion for you. New love, new passion. Wow. New love, new passion. Two of Swords. Blocking it. King of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. So if you're married to an Earth sign, they are blocking any move forward. So with you. They're blocking any move forward. So this new person, they're moving forward with a new person. You're moving forward with a new person. There's passion. The situation that's stuck, that's stagnant, doesn't hold any passion. It's the new thing that holds a lot of passion. This new situation. Oh, I love this. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. There's newness. Go for the newness. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, this new person on your doorstep, passion on your doorstep, passion and love, ace of cups, two of cups, knight of wands, younger fire sign, younger fire sign holds passion and love for you. They are ready for you, water sign. And you're staying in a situation that is very stuck with an earth sign. I feel like once you see, once you have the vision, we just got through the Aquarius new moon, right? You will feel guided to move on. I feel like you're feeling guided to move on because this person is so clearly better. This person is so clearly better. You're a water sign. You're, you're drown. You're not drowning. You're, you're, you have dehydration. <laughs> This is a dehydrated situation for you. Air and earth. It's like when the when the the wind moves across the Serengeti. It's just dry as a bone. The situation is dry as a bone. You're you're thirsty for this new love. And water and fire make steam. Yeah, I feel like once you see your true heart's desire here, through this Aquarian energy, you're going to make a decision to move forward. Okay? Toward this new person, this Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups person. I like that. I like that a lot. Choose the juicy, man. Choose the juicy. This person is juicy. The younger fire sign. Okay. Okay. Choose decision, two of wands. All right, I'm going to do an extended. And in the extended, I am going to pick cards for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, give you some individual um, guidance here. Okay. All right, link is below. See you over there.